punch out in all of Judea. Benjamin, don't give the story away. Sorry. As you know, I've always welcomed everybody to my end. Everybody? Well, almost everybody. Always. So maybe I've changed a little. Don't be so modest. You've changed a lot. He used to be the most grievous, the most selfish, the most narrow-minded, the most pig-headed. All right, all right. They get the idea. It's okay, Benjamin. I've changed a lot, too. Let's just tell the story already. I thought you'd never ask. It all started three years ago. Just about the time the Roman government passed a new law.
Superior service. Each guest will have a special sleeping mat made up from the softest flourishes. And over the front door, a big sign with five feet. Benjamin's best bed B and B. B and B? And a big glowing star to light up all night. Yeah. yeah. Splendid idea. Make up the sign at once. What's going on here? We've got some marvelous plans for the inn. Plans? What kind of plans? A whole new image, picture, a brand new sign with five big B's on it. You know what that stands for? Yeah. <laughs> I think we're going to need a different name. Don't worry, sir. We are right on it. But the name's not important. What's important is that we're going to be a luxury inn. Nothing but the finest guests with the most money. Really? No, I mean it. We'll have kings knocking at our doors before you could say epiphany. We'll get rich! Benjamin, I'm not so sure this is such a good idea. Besides, last night I had the strangest dream. Oh no, you and your silly dreams again. What was it this time? Another angel. As a matter of fact, yes, it told me something very important was about to happen here. Well, that proves that even heaven knows we're going to make money off the census. <laughs>
and I could see that they were pretty tired, like they were long from home. And when they stopped for rest, I noticed the woman was expecting a baby. I know that doesn't seem all that unusual, but all of a sudden I had this really strong feeling that the Messiah was very close, just around the next bed. And that's when I heard the angel. He whispered to me, stay awake, be ready when he comes. The people who have walked in darkness have seen great light. That's very interesting, man. Five people feed the horses.
Master, Master, come quick. Ah, look at those kings, Benjamin. I knew we'd hit the jackpot sooner or later. Friends, friends, welcome to our inn. You won't be sorry you chose us. And what brings you here? See, I told you so. Yes, it's an impressive sign, isn't it? Not yes, ma'am. Which now you can say most definitely is an indicator star, right? Wait, not that star. There must be a mistake.
wanted to impress everybody, especially people like those kings. It's okay, Benjamin. It doesn't matter now. But I thought turning those people would away would make me look important. Rachel, I think we've made a big mistake. Yes, you have. Well, if you have, you've come to the right place. Ma'am, I'm really sorry we didn't find a room for you. You're welcome at the end if you'd like. Thank you. You're welcome here. I think he likes me. <laughs> and that's the way it happened. And from that night on, I was a totally changed man. Yes, you are. Totally. Well, I still got a few rough spots. He wanted to take the star off our sign and put it up on the stable permanently. I was excited, that's all. How often do you get to see a miracle like that happen? Well, at last you're telling the truth. That's why, when we see a new group of travelers like yourselves, we can't help going out on Bethlehem Street and waking up the whole neighborhood to tell everybody you're all welcome at our place. The Messiah has come.
Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you.
Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. <coughs> this was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was, and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. 
Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Merry Christmas. 